What is up guys, my name is River, and today we are going to be reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified, Mutt and Junkyard. Um, just got this recently, um, I already opened it, so we're going to be reviewing this figure. So, I already got some of his accessories on him. Um, he comes with this pistol, and this pistol... This pistol can go in his holster. There it is right there. And he has a holster on his right leg. Um, he has a smoke grenade on the back of his body. And it also has, like, it has little teeny tiny words on it, but on the grenade, but I can't read them so tiny. And... It has a knife that you can pull out of the knife holster. The knife holster is on his chest. I always think it's cool when the knife holster is on their chest. And push it back in. And then you can put the pistol in the holster. I'll do that for you. And there's what it would look like when you put it in the holster. And now... The items that I have around his neck and stuff, we will put those on him. First up is these goggles. You can slide them down, um, just like that. And, and there they are. And then he also has this little gas mask that you can see right there. And you just push that up over his mouth and nose. And then kind of push the little string on it um, onto the back of his head. A little hard, but once you get used to it, it it's easy. Now, I just got this figure, so it's kind of hard for me. And there. It's my first G.I. Joe Classified Mutt and Junkyard. So, let me push that. And it's being really weird. And then we push this down. And just like that, it is over his face. It's a little bit, it's a little bit weird looking, but good enough for right now. Try to fix that. Sorry that it's taken so long. Let's grab his next accessory is going to be his helmet and his big goggles. So those little goggles that you just saw um, are the ones that go around his, um, his face. But then he has these bigger goggles and these ones are meant to go around his helmet just like that. And I'm not going to put them on because I already have the other ones on. But once you put all those parts, but once you put his um, mask, goggles, and helmet on, it, it looks really cool. So, let me do that. Oh, man. And, almost got it. There it is. Oh, okay, we're just gonna leave it like that. But, but it looks super cool when you have it over his entire face. It's being dumb right now, so I can't get it to 
do nothing. Um, and the helmet. Like that. So there he is. Now let's get into the other accessories. First, let's go with the dog. Um, so, the dog, when you get him out of the package, he will have this face on. Um, but when you change, but there's also another face, um, that looks like this. Um, pop it off and throw the other one on. So you saw that face. And now, I'll show you this face. Like, just like that. And then... This collar will also come off when you take off the head if you want it to. But if you don't want it to, you can just slide it back on there and it will be good. So I'm going to put the mean face on now. Alright. And then he has this one thing. You can remove this thing but it's kind of hard so i wouldn't recommend doing so um he has four legs so legs are super flexible you can move his paw his lower part of his leg and his big part of his leg so there's a lot of poses that you can do with the dog too next up is gonna be his rifle. His big, I think this is an AK-47. I'm not really sure, um, but I think it's an AK-47. Um, it has a removable um, mag. You can slide the mag back in. Has a scope, um, whatever that thing is. Um, this green thing, and that also easily goes on his hand. You slide it on. Another cool thing about the new G.I. Joe figures, um, with the little hole that they have in the pistol, you can put their, you can put their finger through it, so it actually looks like they're grabbing on to the, th it actually looks like they're grabbing on to the, thing that you have to pull back to make the gun shoot. So, there. Just like that. You can see his, you can kind of see his fingers sticking through and it looks like he's about to fire it. And then next up, he has a ton of hand, he has a ton of different hands, so... That's going to take a while. And let me get all of the parts that we haven't shown yet out. And one more. So. I already showed you the big goggles, just like that, and this, he also comes with a little stick, so you can have him whacking somebody, um, and then he comes with six different fists, he has a, he has a pointer hand, he has a actual knuckle like he's getting ready to hit somebody. In this one, it looks like he's getting ready to point. Either that or he's like commanding. This one kind of looks like he has a grenade in his hand and he's getting ready to throw it. I don't really know why they added this hand. Oh, this hand's probably for the, for this thing. 
Yeah, that definitely is for this. Because I tried to fit it in the hand that's on it right now. It's a lot easier to get it in here than it is in there. And this is like... I don't really know what that is, but maybe he's... Maybe he's... Maybe he's like getting ready to put his hand up and say stop. Just like that's what this hand is. Saying like stop or go or something. Oh, maybe, maybe it's for doing something like this. So like when you tell somebody to go up, you do this, you do this. So maybe it's supposed to, so maybe it's supposed to be like this hand is for up and then this hand is for when you, for when you take your hand down like that. Yeah. So that's just my guess. I don't really know. Here's the here's the box. Close it. Almost got it. Here's the box. The front it says Mutton Junkyard GI Joe. The artwork got a good shot of him on the side. Cool one on this side, uh, another cool one on this side, and then on the back, um, dog's face, there, and there, and that is a super cool pose. So, anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. Hope you all all enjoyed it. Peace out and goodbye. And always remember, GI Joe rules.